<laughs> Welcome back from Desk Low. Man, if you've been tuned into this show, man, we lose you know, early on a lot of legends, man. Like, you know, we were early on Rome Streets, you know, where we're early on Eddie Kane. We're early on a lot of your favorites, man. And you know, when I when I heard this gentleman right here, man, yo, what the first thing that came to my mind, man, I was like, man, this guy gotta be at least like at least like 25. And yo, when I did my research on Sun, yo, Sun was born in 04. I ain't gonna lie, I was fucking bad bitches in 04, man. I ain't gonna front on that. But yo, when when I heard my man was born in 04 and he has the kind of knowledge that he has with this music, and he's not like blending in with like how most I'm not gonna kick the young generation, man. But yo, it's some of the young generation I just can't get with. Like the young thug and gunner movie, I can't get with that. So when I heard Sun actually rhyme on his uh, debut album, Museum, yo, I was, yo, I was shocked, man. I was like, yo, I didn't expect this from Sun at all, man. So I, I, I'm surprised that people ain't talking about it more. But maybe, you know, I'm just early. And later on during the year, he's going to release something oh, else that gets y'all more talking. But without further oh, yeah. questions, I got Lord Sko. Yes, sir. How you doing, bro? Man, we're doing good, man. How are you doing? I'm feeling good, man. I appreciate the words, you know what I mean? Hey man, yo, you 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 a man of many talents, man. So yo, yo, I, I, I gotta ask my G, you born in 04. So yeah, I was listening to G Unit back then. So I, what, what, uh, when you coming up, like who are you listening to, like when you're coming up? Because because we, we got a major time like age difference. You mean like right now, like what I what was I listening to like when I first got into hip hop? When you first got into hip hop. So the first rappers I heard was Biggie, DMX, Eminem. Um, I got that on an on a little like iPod Nano from my pops. Um, you know, he had my pops used to listen to a lot of, you know, more rock music and shit. But he had he had that type of shit. Um, had a couple couple joints. He had like it was it was a lot of DMX, some Biggie, some M. He had some MOP on there. You know, what I mean, some some workout music. You know, what I mean, shit that was gonna get him pumped. I mean, I'm I'm not really up, uh, you know, in contact with my pops like that. But he put me on put me on the road for sure. Um, with that and you know I mean just through that I kind of just started discovering more and more on my own you know I, I really fucked with uh, J. Cole in middle school um, you know what I mean like and then and then from there I just really like you know wanted to, to to keep going and keep keep studying this shit you know once once I found the thing the way I say it is once I found doom it was a rap because once I found doom is when oh, I just yeah. you know what I mean that's when you go down the full rabbit hole of, of all of this other shit and I found doom like freshman year, I want to say of 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 um, high school. So, yeah. I'm I would be a I would be a super senior right now. I graduated last year as a regular senior, but that was like four or five years ago when I found Doom, and since then I've just kind of been really down that rabbit hole. But you know, I fucks with everything. No, that's kind of crazy how your pops kind of because like yo, I got a friend like because like you you like the generation like with the ipod nanos man yo like i would have loved that in the, like in the early 2000s we had to walk around cds and all that so we had to have like and and shit. That. yeah nah, nah no doubt you know what i mean you can't you can't ever take for granted um you know the state of technology that we got especially nowadays you know what i mean like it makes every it makes discovery a lot easier because you just just right everything's right in front of your face so if you're not choosing to you know fuck with it then you just gotta get with the times <laughs> Yo, 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 that's yo, that's fact. Yo, I'm still figuring out a few things from like, yo, I just we figured out Zoom, but Zoom don't pay the check. So if it cuts out, we just have to rejoin. Uh, but yeah. yo, that's crazy <laughs> how you said that uh, you discovered Doom in high school because man, um, Mad Villainy, that's that's when I discovered yeah. Doom, and that was yo, 10th grade too. So yo, it's crazy to see like the generation that Doom has, generation okay. after generation, and kind of goes with your name because yo your name has like yo that that villain type like a marvel like, yo lord go <laughs> right there right nah, now no doubt you know what i mean and i and i fucks with um you know what i mean I, I definitely take a lot of inspiration from doom you know what i mean just in kind of like just the fact that like you know kind of kind of breaking it down to a very raw but also very um very well thought out very like processed product at the end of time you know what i mean because like he might be rapping on like a fucking loop but and he might not even fucking care about song structure but it still feels very well thought out you know what i mean the whole the whole shit whole process the whole track and all of that you know what i mean yo because like when, when i listen to like some of your music though it like it seemed that you got like that early you know like that 2000s influence man but like what kind of blew me away too is like 
you know, when I heard Russian Doll, it kind of has that, you know, that public enemy bring the school vibe to it now. And I was like, yo, like, like, how far did you go back when, when, when you're discovering like new music, how you did with Doom? Like, how far yeah. did you go back? I mean, I go back with everything, man. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I've listened to like pretty much everything, you know, I've listened down back to like, you know, Eric B, Rakim, you know what I mean? All of that shit. Like, I, but I, I'm not going to lie. Like, I think like the sweet spot was really like the nineties for when they really started putting shit together. Cause you know, some of the, some of the eighties hip hop really sounds a little too like hip to the hop, you know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah. dudes like, I still, I still love dudes like Rakim, obviously, Cool G, you know, he's a legend. Cool G, I like, like Rakim, Rakim gets the credit for making it more of a like rhymey flow, but I think Cool G is the one who made it, who modernized that too, you know what I mean? And obviously they got different flows, but I think, if you hear the way that New York rap is rap now, it's more from the school of Cool G, you know what I mean? Right. And I started listening to Cool G a lot more once people started being like, yo, you got that Cool G, Cool G rap flow, you know what I mean? And I was like, word? Like, and I, and I really like did more of the math and, and that's because I love pun. And you know, pun is like school of Cool G for real. I love pun. Pun was one of my biggest influences when I when I first started really finding my flow. Um, obviously Nas, you know what I mean? Obviously Wu-Tang. Um, so yeah, I mean, I go back, I go back a good amount with the shit. Like I, I love, I love that early nineties kind of like really raw gritty era, like that, you know, kind of like Wu-Tang sound when they was, when they were starting to put out like Cuban links and, um, oh. liquid swords and obviously oh, enter the 36, you know what I mean? But, um, that, that's the thing that I think is ill is that, you know, I actually, my, my manager, Dante, Dante Ross literally said the same thing about Russian though, was he was like, yo, this kind of reminds me of some public enemy shit and you know I, i'm not i'm not that schooled on public enemy like I, I know i know the big songs and you know i've probably listened to like two one or two of their albums but i've never really took the time to like study their craft like that you know, huh. you know what i mean like i study i study the crafts of like nas and doom and i study jada kiss a lot big l pun as i mentioned sean price um everybody yo that's crazy yeah. yo, like we don't expect that from your generation. We expect like, yo, Drake. Yeah. Drake and, and, and and that's that's still that's still cool though, because I wanna I wanna bring I wanna bring all types of different shit. Cause at the same time, as much as I'm influenced by those guys, like I also definitely take influence from like Joey Badass and like Mac Miller and like Bronson and you know Vince Staples, Danny Brown, Earl, like you know, all of those dudes, Rock Marcy, you know what I mean? Like I take a lot of influence from everything. So I think that's why it's it's cool that you say the two thousands, cause I'd probably be right in the middle of where I'm taking my influences from. So I'm taking from down from 92 to fucking 2023, right in the middle, probably be 2004, right when I'm born. <laughs> yo, and like, because like, yo, I ain't got a friend, like, yo, because I was like seven years old when Wu first came out. So I never got to experience Wu, like, you know, at their, at their peak. But the one right. group that, you know, we both can, we can uh, say we both experienced coming up is, uh, the art future was what was, was like yeah. start, like a new generation of the Wu Tang Clan. Absolutely, man. And you know what I mean. I think like I, I really like I think it's ill that like you know I hear like certain shit like that like oh you should give me like that pro era vibe that should give me that art uh, future vibe because you know like they were saying oh to them oh we we get the Wu Tang vibe from y'all we got this so you know what I mean I think it's just the con the continuance of time you know what I mean like and and. I don't, I don't honestly like, I don't like getting comparisons a lot. I've heard some whack comparisons. I've heard some great comparisons, but one that I never, never argue with is when someone's like, yo, your shit, your shit reminds me of Joey. Your shit reminds me of, of Pro Ever because people don't ever say, oh, yo, yeah. you sound like Joey. People don't say, yo, you sound like Joey. You sound like Steve. They say, yo, you remind me of that shit, which to me is ill because I think we pretty much had a lot of the same artistic goals in mind just being, young kids from New York who really care about the culture of hip hop and, and want to see that represented in the, in the, in the right light. You know what I mean? Cause you're, cause you're like New York, that's where hip hop has started now too. And like to actually be like, you know, cause, like you can see like your hometown heroes, like, you know, like Jada kiss, like, you know, Sean Price, like all these guys came from New York. So I can see what he has. No doubt. From. Yeah, man. Like I, I definitely am very like school of New York type of hip hop. You know what I mean? Like, I want I want to make sure that when people hear me they're like oh yeah you from New York you know what I mean <laughs> So 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 we we're in this like I like to call like, your shout out to my guy Sunni's uh the, the invincible renaissance right here because yo like yeah. I like to say like 
you know, with the rise of Griselda, we're really starting to see like a rise of the, the underground lane, right. like, you know, like how Rock Mercy was on 2010 or like Willie the Kid, 2015 right. of Alchemist. So with right. you coming into this, like with your peers, like I know you embrace Bub Styles, but who a few of your other peers within like this community we have? No doubt. Um, I mean, obviously my man Dusty Reynolds, that's my man. Okay. Um, you know what I mean? My OG Emilio Craig, um, that's another one. Uh, my big bro, Big Dog, is is a legend right there. Um, you know, and that that's more for that age bracket, for that for that real group. But I think also like, you know, I got I got another crew that I kind of be chilling with too. Is like, you know, more on the outside because, um, you know, I love like I think of, I think of those names more so like that's kind of like the New York scene right there, like that the Chinatown sound. That's like that New York type of real real like underground scene. You know, like. Dudes getting they 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 models from like overseas and shit like that's definitely a that's definitely a scene right there. But you know what I mean, and, and I fuss with that scene, but I'm also not gonna say I'm like 100 percent part of that scene because I got other scenes that I am, am a part of too. You know what I mean? Like I came in I came into this to that scene like trying to be like yo like peep me I'm doing my thing over here B and I could I could do my thing in here too, which I I've been doing. You know what I mean? And I think again that kind of goes to to what you were saying earlier about. You know, having um, you know, like a range of influences and shit. Cause some of my other homies, like Wise Boy Jeremy, Dustfield, Dre, Dre Waves, my guy Marco Plus from Atlanta. Um, you know, if you listen to my album, you heard you heard a lot of those names and shit. And um, you know, those are just kind of like rap homies I've met through the internet. Um, you know, I mean, found them through the internet, like tapped in with, and then built friendships with them. You know, what I mean, whereas I feel like the the New York scene. That that um you know like Bub Styles is a part of Chinatown Sound all of that I feel like that that's that's more of a like like a natural geographic scene you know what I mean which which makes me feel dope about that shit because you know I meet these people through the internet I met them through shows doing shows with them doing this you know what I mean like a lot of that type of shit so I think I think it to me it feels different because because that's a different that's like a real geographic scene. Not to say that it don't it don't spread to other lengths because we got people from Boston, we got people from all around the globe who's a part of that scene as well. But that's like a local scene to me. You know what I mean? Okay. You see, like and like you never want to limit to yourself to like you know to a certain lane because I can see like with your career now too, like you don't just don't want to stick to like underground. I can see you like actually having like like an album like a like a good kid, Mad City, or like a- Yeah, like, no, no, look, I appreciate that a lot, man. That means a lot, you know what I mean? Like, I, and and I definitely want to find some sort of some sort of sweet middle, man. You know what I mean? Some some middle ground because, um, you know what I mean? A sweet spot in the middle ground. Cause like, I feel like, you know, I love this shit. Like, yo, like Doom is my favorite rapper. Like Sean, Sean Price, one of my favorite rappers, oh. like Kiss. So I really want to keep this shit hip hop. Like, I don't ever want to be on the track, like, doing shit where it's like, oh, he went mainstream with it. You know what I mean? But I want to find a sound. Like, I know my sound has the potential to be bigger than than where it is now. Way, yeah. way, way bigger. But I just, you know what I mean? I don't want to compromise too much. You know what I mean? You got to make sacrifices, obviously, for success. But, you know, I don't want to compromise the, the things that I love about hip-hop just for some more success. Because I know that success is going to come. You know, I'm a star regardless, B. You know what I mean? But, um. I'm I'm gonna be I'm gonna be doing my thing no doubt, but I would love to have a good kid, Mad City type album. Like you know, what I mean, I think Kendrick is ill because I think what he does really well is he doesn't water his shit down, and he's still um, a huge, huge artist. You know what I mean? And he's still winning Grammys, selling out huge stadiums, all of that. You know what I mean? No, that's no, that's facts too. Because like we gotta remember it. that was like ten years ago, and. We want to know, right. like, you know, like, and like one of the things that I liked about, like, when I was finding you was uh, your Sco DVD. Like, it's not really DVD. Yeah. Like, you know, let's be honest, like, you know, it's YouTube. But, like, yo, know, I really liked, like, yo, know, seeing, like, yo, know, like, what we can see, like, yo, know, you fuck up the cat in the dry. I'm like, all right, that's my guy right there. All right, I see you. Right. So, like, but with that, though, like, do you, would you ever do something like that for one of your albums? Like, actually show, like, the yeah. behind it with that? And, like, oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, yo. That's the reason why we ain't we ain't put out another Sco DVD yet because we've been collecting tons of footage, man. We've been collecting lots a lot of footage. It's gonna be, you know what I mean? Cause as much as like I, I love like bro, the, the first two episodes of that shit, like that's really like my life, bro. That's what I'm out here doing. Like I'm just out here with my homies fucking around New York shit, B. That's it. 
You know what I mean? But we gonna get some more like footage, more behind the scenes type shit, more, you know what I mean, in the action type shit. We still gonna splice it in with the ignorance and belligerency, you know what I mean, as we should, but you know, we gotta find that perfect medium. And yo, like this is yo, okay. And like, yo, shout out to my guy Salim, because yo, my guy Salim gotcha. was like, posting about a lot about this guy and it actually made me check out Load Scope. And yeah, yo, that's I, my man right I, there. I'll give you my honest opinion right here, my G. Joel Santana and Jim Jones. Yo, they claim like yo, you know, we're the rock stars and rock star lives. But yo, when I found Lois Sko, yo, son actually looks like a rock star right here. Like, uh, like yo, he I ain't fun. Like, you know how rap yeah, I'm a rock star. No, son actually looks like you would never suspect son would have had bars. Right. Nah, I appreciate that, bro. I mean, like, like it's funny because you know, like I get that a lot. You know, I think it's just cause um, you know. I'm a white rapper with long hair, so you know I look like a little British rock star, or whatever. But yo, I, I think yeah, like, yeah, like, like let me check, let me check what son's about, and then right, I was you like, know what I mean. I think it's also like if you're looking at the clothes I'm wearing, B, I don't see no rock stars wearing iceberg sweaters with rockerwear jeans, <laughs> and yo, that's Averexes and Pooji sweaters and shit like that. You know what I mean? So, like, I, I like to, I like to kind of, you know, I, th I think it's like people look at me and they're like, whoa, what, what is he gonna bring to the table? And then. You know, most people ain't disappointed with what they hear. So, I, you know, I just, I just, I'm just doing me out here. I'm just doing the shit I think is fly. You know what I mean? Like, fucking, I, like, bro, true, true say about the hair is that I just needed a haircut before the pandemic. I never got no, no haircut. Oh, all shit. Them shit. And then people just was like, yo, you look good with long hair. And I was like, word? All right, bet. So I just kept it. You know what I mean? And, and this shit is fly. You know what I mean? And um, like, what, what, what's true about your delivery now, too, is like, your voice, like, your voice is, like, yo, I swear, like, you got, like, don't take this the wrong way, like, an old soul voice, like, you know, like, like, nah, like absolutely, this, you know, absolutely, bro. Nah, facts, bro, you know what I mean? Like, like, bro, like, I ain't gonna lie to you, like, I, I, I definitely want people to hear me talk and be like, what, what the fuck, bro, is this, like, this fucking prodigy's son right here? Is this yo, fucking, like, yo, is, yo is, I is like young, that, yo, that's fast. Is this young, is this young Raekwon over here, you know what I mean? Like, cause I, I like, bro, I really want to see that era of the city be res respected and revived. You know what I mean? Even if I wasn't alive for it, I I'd be around a lot of the OGs who, who be schooling me on that era. And, and like, for me, it's weird because I'm young, bro. So I wasn't even like alive for like crazy shit going down like that. You know what I mean? I see my shit, but like, I ain't gonna lie, I go down, I go downtown now, I go to certain parts of Brooklyn and, and shit just feels so, I, I just, I can't even put the word on it, but it just doesn't feel like the New York I remember. You know what I mean? And that yeah. shit, that shit, that shit kills me, man. Cause you know what I mean, I, I love the fact that I walk around in my hood still. I'm from Washington Heights. You know what I mean? I walk around and that shit still feels like New York. It's still motherfuckers out there. Like, yo, I got that shot where you used to look up as pre-war buildings. You know what I mean? It's, it's mom and pop shops. It's not like a fucking Starbucks on every corner with, with fucking Zaza exotic biggest yeah. fucking, like the, the 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 cleanest looking smoke shop you could imagine. Like I mean, we got we got some clean looking smoke shops, but not like not like Williamsburg looking ones. B, you know what okay. I mean, and um, you know, like it's a lot of people who just been moving here just because it's like like trendy and it's like people people move here so they could so they could move out and then tell tell people, yo, I lived in New York in my twenties. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Da, 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 da. But they come here, they want to complain about everything. They want to do all this, they want to drive the run up and shit. And they don't they don't have any type of concept on what the actual culture is out here, what it was before they came here. And they just out here to, to fucking, you know what I mean, take some Instagram flicks and and and, and just add that to their resume. Meanwhile, like this is where I'm from and this is what I'm this is what I know and this is what I've been taught. And you know, I'm just trying to preserve that and also do it in a way that's gonna bring bring generations together because yeah. I'm young and I and, and I'm aware that I'm young and I'm aware of my star power and my potential. I don't even try to I don't even try to like drag on it like that. But yo, kids my age is gonna fuck with me because I'm their age, bro. And they're gonna yeah. support, they're gonna be like, oh yeah, that's that's my man. But in order to fully get the entire audience, bro, like I mean, like some mad old heads don't wanna listen to new new rappers, and that's totally understandable. But they might be a little more quicker to do so when they're like, oh damn, this kid's wearing a pelly pelly, like fuck you know about that yeah, you know, yeah. you know, like, like, that's what i'm saying this shit and, and oh shit he's using all the old, old all the old woo slang like like what's up with him you know what i mean he all right so he must he must know his his shit you know what i mean like i'm really saying the old 
old ass slang and shit. I be asking my OGs, like, yo, da, 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 yo, put me on game. You know what I mean? I be, you know what I mean? Just trying to figure my shit out. Um, but yeah, man, like it's gonna be a really powerful thing, man. I'm trying to, I'm trying to really just be a symbol, a beacon of New York hip hop, a voice for New York, man. You know what I mean? For all ages, you know what I mean? Cause I want to be a voice for kids my age right now. And I want to be something that, you know, my, my OGs is going to look back at it and be like, yo, I was doing the same thing, man. That kid is like a reflection of myself. He reminds me of my younger self. You know what I mean? Yo, that's yo. I like that right there. Because like, when you say that now, because like, when we think of like <laughs> New York, like, you know how most like casual rap fans could be like, oh, like the drill sound like pop smoke. But see, I right. don't see you like going towards that though. But like, you know, there's this one thing that we always say, like, you know, if with the right producer, you never know what you can create, man. And like, so with that, you, like, 18 years old, like, yo, like what type of like producers, like, did you find like, like, yo, I want to like rhyme over those type of beats. Cause like, you gotta remember, there's the high hat drill sound and then there's the classic sound right yeah, no, nah, I fucks. I mean, like, I'm, I'm pretty diverse, man. You know what I mean? Like, might it might upset you to hear that there, there probably will be a drill song on my next album. Don't worry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so, so, so yo, I we don't hate on the new generation, yo. We, we fuck with some, yo. We just, we, yo. Nah, yeah. Like nah, the, trust. I'm, a, I'm that drill track. I'm not. I'm not just talking the regular cliches. I'm still. I'm. I'm bugging on that shit, and it's some ill sample and shit. Like, and, and that's gonna be the single drill track I probably put out ever, you know what I mean, until Fabio Foreign hits my line and it's like, yo, <laughs> yo, yo, Fabio Foreign, yo, I get a prayer, Fabio Foreign. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, and, and I'm also, I want to reach a level where I get so known for being this New York lyricist that, like, Drill Cats is like, yo, I need to get him on my track because that's yeah. going to go crazy. Have that like, energy with it. Right, you know what I mean? Just because they know, like, all right, he could rap on anything, but um, definitely Mad Lib Beats. I love Mad Lib. That's okay. one of my favorite producers. Uh, Premier, for sure. Dilla for sure, Alchemist for damn sure. You know what I mean? I'm gonna get that Alchemist project real oh, soon. Oh, yo, yeah, I can um, see your Alchemist definitely fucking her. If you, yo, oh, I, yeah. I, see, that's oh, the thing yeah. I like about Alchemist too. He'll go work from with somebody like a like a mob deep, and now he'll go work with somebody totally unknown. Like, um, right. I, I don't want to, I want to get any names wrong, but like, um, like most people don't know Durag Dynasty and what the impact that they had until like later on. So like, they're like. So I can about. see Alchemist saying, yo, I was early on this Lord Sko guy. We got an EP together. Yeah. Right. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? That's definitely, that's definitely, you know what I mean, in the works. You know what I mean? It's going, it's going, it's going to be there, no doubt. So with your generation now, too, because like currency is like a, a new generation. A currency was like when I first heard currency, that was like he was supposed to be what Drake is now. And then he left John Money. But then he created an underground type following. But like, so what does Spitter mean to your generation? Because I'm curious, like, for a new generation, we know what Spitter, you know, mass to be, but for your generation, who, who, what does currency mean to you guys? I love currency, man. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not trying. I'm not trying to throw Spitter under the bus over here. I feel like that's a weird question though, because I ain't, I ain't even gonna hold you, bro. Like, I went. I tried. I tried going to a currency concert. Last last year with my homie Arlo, who's my producer, he's my age too, and that shit was literally twenty one plus. They wasn't letting they wasn't letting nobody in there. Oh whoa whoa okay what the hell? Oh, the and weed, I understand because it was like smoking and shit, but we was dead ass like the only teens there, and people kept walking past us and being like, "Wow, like that listen to currency like that's dope, man." And we were like, <laughs> "All right, bro, like how about y'all just let us in the fucking concert, man, so we can fucking yo get like." Lit. But, yo, I I love I love Curtis though, and that's one of my favorite rappers. Um, I'm I'm working on a tape to come out this year that's gonna be called Piff, and it's actually um, you know I mean it's gonna be kind of dedicated to that era of of weed smoking rap of like currency Wiz, Mac Miller, you know that early shit. Yeah. And I'm really trying to, you know, I mean that that that's not coming. That's not gonna be my next project, but I'm working on that shit now too. Um, it'll come out this year for sure. And um, that that project's gonna be a lot of fun, and um, you know, hopefully, hopefully that shit catches some more ears, catches gets the right people on there and all of that. But I love currency, man. I think um, I mean, he got like his work ethic is obviously unmatched, you know. Oh, yeah. Um, and uh, when he when he really gets in that in that pocket, you know, what I mean, like he's he's really like one of the one of the best for sure. Like his projects with Alchemist are crazy. His Harry Fraud shits are crazy. Um, 
what's it called, like the Jet Life joints. You know I mean, like he he got it, like for real. I love currency. See, like I always tell people, like my age too, they're like, oh yeah, you know, currencies, like Andre. I'm like, I keep telling, like, yo, currencies and in, like influence in this whole new generation. You guys are just stuck on pilot talk one and two. It's like you guys got to listen to the stuff of Harry Fraud. He's got or like what you said of Alchemist, oh, yeah. like. Like the well, co covert covert coop is really what set off this whole alchemist run. You know what I mean? Like, like that that was really the first like one that he did that that made him be like, all right, let me um let me start curating full projects with these dudes and yeah, <laughs> putting them out, making the money off merge, whatever. Oh my god, I'm sneezing the fuck out, I'm dying right now, B. <laughs> I just <laughs> saved that second. <laughs> Damn, but yeah, man, that shit really set it off. You know what I mean? I heard I'll say that in an interview once. So another person, I won't take up much of your time now, too, but, you know, when I think of, nah, like, no worry. the community we have, you know, it's, like, uh, it's a very diverse community. So, like, yeah, I was curious. So you ever heard of Mutant Academy? Yeah. Yeah, see, that's that's type of cool. I want to see you work with Fly Anakin. Yeah, I think you would fly to make something. Yo, yo. Yeah. When I think of your generation, he's around your same generation, too. Right. Nah, Fly, Fly Anakin is ill, man. Um, We got the same manager, so that, that'll definitely happen at some point. You know what I mean? I oh, yeah. So leave, yo, if you listen, yo, you got to make that happen. Right? Yeah, man. Nah, he, he definitely tune in, man. He, he knows what's going on. <laughs> so, like, even, like, with, you know, because I, I got to ask about this, because I never would have found you if it wasn't for my guy, Salim. So, like, how did yeah. Salim find you? Cause like you know, Slim got a very good reputation in this game, man. So we yeah, man. someone, yo, we gotta we gotta respect guy and check him out. So when I I was like, oh, I see why Slim fucks with some. Yeah, I mean, um, so I had a, it was actually pretty cool. So I I had met um, I think I think I had introduced myself at the Sweet Chick pop up, the first one, the Alchemist, uh, Rock Marcy shit. But they, I don't know if you've seen, but if you go back and watch the recap. But for this for the Rock Marshy Alchemist Sweet Chick pop up that happened in October, I wanna say. I was like the first person shown in that shit. Long way right here for this bitch ass. Yeah, I'm gonna fucking take all night. Like literally, I was like, yeah, it was like a one, it was a quick clip, but I was like the first person in that shit. Like before they shoot showed Rock and Alchemist, it was like a quick B-roll. I was the first person on that shit. And then pretty much the comments was just Mad people was up in the comments when 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 Rock and Al posted it like, Lord Sko spotted, Lord Sko, Lord Sko, Lord Sko. Like, like it was like twenty motherfuckers commenting that shit, like <laughs> on shit. Rock shit, on Alchemist shit. When Baba posted it too, um, so he followed me after that, and he he kind of was tapped in. You know, what I mean, he had commented on some of my shit. Um, you know, what I mean, the OG was showing a little bit of love, but you know, I, I think he was like he wasn't really. You know, I don't think he was like, yo, let me manage this kid quite yet. Yeah. But um I went to I went to Los Angeles in December. Um and I did a show out there and I met up with Dante Ross, who's my other manager. Um and pretty much I get I like I get back since then shit has really been on fire. But but Dante put out a tweet when I was out there, like hearing this 17 year old kid rap like G rap. It's fucking crazy. Yo, it's crazy. Um, and I like posted that shit up and I was getting a lot of attention for that. You know what I mean? Um, you know what I mean? Shit was, shit was moving. And um, I got back up with my OG, Emilio, Emilio Craig, um, who if you're not familiar with, you should definitely familiarize yourself. Oh, yeah, we're definitely familiar with Emilio Craig. He did a lot yeah, of uh, work if I think Rim. Oh, yeah, man. He's 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 in that job with it, man. He's one of the best. Um but yeah, he made that introduction of Bob. And he was like, he was like, yo, I'm gonna send Baba your shit. I was like, yo, I think Bob already know who I am, Vegan. And he was like, no doubt, I'm gonna send him your shit. So he sends him his shit. And then he tells me like this. He's like, yo, I get a call. And Baba's like, yo, Sko? Sko? Oh, I've been fucking with this kid. Da -da 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 -da. You know what I mean? So sometimes you just gotta bring it to their attention from a different perspective, you know? Cause he knew who I was. But once someone approached him with that idea to be like, yo, would you work with this kid? He was he was all in on it. Um, especially because he knew the the OG Dante was in on it. And um, you know, it's really it's been a beautiful situation, you know what I mean? So we're gonna we gonna keep we gonna keep moving this shit. And I'm very I'm very grateful to have two managers of that stature because um, you know, I'm I'm a young dude, you know what I mean, as we've addressed. And um yeah, I'm glad it's just not some random college kid who's like, yo, I like your music, man. <laughs> man bro. Like I got 
I got serious, serious dudes who's, who's in my corner, you know what I mean? Legends and shit, you know what I mean? Responsible for some of the some of the illest people in the game. And so I never take that for granted, man. And that's what I like too now too, because like, you know of that stature and like, you know, like, but you also bring your own to the table. Cause like- Absolutely. You're in the 70s, oh yeah. Right? Nah, and that's the thing is, is they know that too, man. Like they, they know that, um, they know it's not just like they, they trying to help me out or nothing. Like, like they see the potential, they see the way I'm, I'm making waves and you know, they just added fuel to that fire. You know what I mean? Um, you know what I mean? It's never, it's never a problem with having legends in the corner, man. <laughs> yo, because like, yo, Kendrick didn't make Crit Kid Mad City to about like maybe I think it was like twenty two, maybe twenty twenty three. You still like, right. so yo, you still got a lot more life to live. So yo, yeah, I, no, you right, you right. Except um, I'm about to hit my Elmatic year, son. So I gotta trust this year gonna be. I'm putting some damage. Oh, you're gonna, this year. Oh, you're gonna go for your Elmatic? Oh, okay. Okay. That's I not can... even what I'm saying. I'm not even necessarily saying that, man, because um, you know, I'm not I'm not even saying yo, I'm gonna make that one classic project, but yep. I'm just saying, yo, I'm a I'm a competitive dude, man. I drop I drop museum on the same day that Joey dropped his project because you know I'm a competitive oh, dude and I, I was gonna make motherfuckers listen to his shit and listen to my shit and I'd be like, damn, that 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 kid shit was low-key better. And plus um, like you want plus I'm pretty sure you want something to look back on now too. It's like yo, I did this yeah. at 18. Not only that, bro, because you know, what I mean, it's not like I, I'm not, I'm not thinking like, like that. I'm thinking more so like, yo, like, you know, what I mean, like, I'm, I'm just trying to continue making markings of my life. You know, what I mean, like, like in, in the moment. But you know, I'm, when I say it's gonna be my Elmatic, yeah, I just, I, w- I want to have that same type of respect, and and I want people to know the way I'm coming, the way people knew Nasty was coming when he was 19. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's fat. Well, like even like like yo, or just like the name now too. Like <laughs> I like right. how you chose your like your name to incorporate with something like, oh, it just sounds cool. Cause Sco is right. like your friend used to call you Sco. But where does the Lord come from? Yeah, so I be wearing mad rings and shit. So um, it was oh, like a of the rings, ain't you? <laughs> what happened? Yeah, but um, specifically though, that shit was like it was like a. I don't want to call him like a crackhead, but there was like a drug addict in my neighborhood who was homeless okay. and shit. I always walk by him and shit. He always asked for a dollar. I usually give him a dollar. But he knew I was a rapper before I even started rapping. Uh, or, not not before I started rapping, but he knew I was a rapper before I told him. I would just, I always, you know, stop by, be like, yo, what's up? Da, 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 da. He'd be like, yo. One day he was just like, yo, you a rapper, man? I was like, yeah. And he's like, yo, you like the Lord of the Rings. And I was like, word. <laughs> and that shit was mad funny. But also, it's just like some, some New York slang, you know what I mean? What up, Lord? Da, 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 da. And, um, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. What up, Lord? Yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean? And unfortunately, unfortunately, that that, home, that that man died too. So, you know, it's a little bit of just a, just a memorial because, you know what I mean? Um, I was just starting to write and, and, and I just always thought it was crazy that, like, I, I never mentioned it to him or nothing. And he was just like, yo, you, you're you like the Lord of the Rings, man. Like, you're, you're like, and I was like, what? Like, you know what I mean? So um, you know, I just put just put two and two together. So also uh I was a big fan of Kid Cuddy. Um and uh oh, his last name is okay. Cuddy, you know what I mean? So I, I took a similar approach in, in structure in my name. Um, you know, my last name. My last name is first go F E R S K O. So Yo, it's worked out. crazy with the Lord part though now, because it shows like the type of person you are now too. It's like, you know, like <clears throat> most people that walk by a drug addict, but it obviously, you know, that meant something to you to like, you know, I'm going to, it's your way of saying thank you. To that. Cause he was always cracking jokes and shit though. Like he was, he was mad beloved in my neighborhood. Like, like you know what I mean? Motherfuckers, motherfuckers knew who he was. Cause, and, and he wasn't ever like bugging on motherfuckers. He wasn't yeah, ever like, like there's some normal crack. Crazy. Yeah. He was just like, you know what I mean? You'd be on the corner. Yo, what's up? How you doing? God bless. Whatever. You know? Um, and my mom's is, is, is like that, bro. My mom's always want to give him a dollar. Always want to help him out. She got a sandwich in the bag. She won't give him the sandwich. You know, my mom's is a, is a, is a wonderful woman when it comes to that. Um, and you know, it's kind of it's funny now because I, I, when I don't be walking around with money, I give him a Newport, and that seems to make him just as happy, if not happier, man. You know what I mean? So that's how I've established the Newport Lord title, man. <laughs> <laughs> I like that now too. It means you're a good kid, though. But yo, Lord, Lord Sco, man, yo, if there's a you're welcome back anytime on the show, man. And no doubt, bro. No <laughs> doubt, my man. Let us know, man, because yo, I got a friend like, bro, yo, you earned my 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 shit as a fan of my support. So my resources, 
Yeah, I could definitely help you out, yo. Yo, yeah. Nah, I appreciate you, man. That means a lot, my G. Hey, anytime, yo. All you gotta do is hit the DM, yo, and we'll make it happen. Um, but before sure, I let you go, is that anything that you got a website or anything where people can like check you out, or is it just everything on stream, man? Um, yeah, we we working on a website right now. For now, I'll just say check me out on streaming, L O R D S K O Lord Scro. Um, I'm on Instagram, I'm on wherever you wherever you are interested in hearing me, I'm I'm probably findable there. So I you know mean <laughs> All right, yo, Lord Sco, man. Like I said, yo, you're welcome back at time. Appreciate you taking time out your day. And yo, my yo, right, like I said, yo, museum, yo, if anyone yo are curious about it, we're gonna put the link in below. And if you can find me that clip of you about with the rock show, yo, I want to include it in this interview right too now. Too. I got you. I'll throw it in. There. It's on um, it's on the Instagram. I'll send it to you. I'll find it real quick. I got you. I my G, yo, let's go, man. You have yourself a good day, yo. And yo, you keep killing it, my man. G. New G raps in the building, y'all. Sure, <laughs> my man. Thank you.